All right, so the first thing I want to cover is the menu system within ZBrush. Now, everything I tell you is going to be based upon a workflow, okay? Now, my workflow day-to-day -day is helping students get over the fact that they are learning 3D programs. So I'm in a lab every day with lots of computers. Now, all those computers kind of match themselves. So the navigation kind of matches each other's. So if you're in my lab and I'm helping you, don't screw around with this video too much. Just watch, kick back, and relax. Uh, the last thing that you need is a dinner, different user interface than me. And then you're going to ask a bunch of questions like, well, where's the stroke palette? Or um, why is my icons look different than yours? Well, that's because you screwed with them. Okay, but yeah, let, let's take that all aside, and I will show you how to move things around. Now, ZBrush already kind of gave you a bunch of default ones. So, if you want to see those, they're up in the corner. Up here, I can just load the interfaces. See, everything changed. Nothing there. Everything's small. And then back to default. Good. Let's say I want to mess around. Okay, the best thing to do is kind of show you how to fix it right off the bat. Okay, let's say I take a palette. Let's take the stroke palette, for example, and take this doohickey and click and drag the doohickey over here. Okay, from now on, I'm going to call this the doohickey. Next, what if I want to save this? What if I want to make it so I can just click quickly, like switch it over, and forever and always the tool palette and the stroke palette become there on the right hand side? Well, I can go into preferences and I can go into configurations and I can store a config. Okay. Master configuration file has been saved successfully and will be restored every time you start ZBrush. Okay. So that means next time I should have the start tool in stroke palette. Let me show you something on ZBrush that's very handy. Initialize ZBrush. Okay, I'm going to initialize it and hit yes. Okay, notice after I initialize, the tool and the stroke palette are still there. Initializing is the easiest way to clear out all data. Let's say I have a bunch of little tools and uh, sub-tools and they're all loaded in here and um, I want to quickly clean out the memory within ZBrush. I will initialize it. What's really nice about storing the configuration file, it does not screw up your palettes. Okay, now there's a few other things. How about we uh, restore standard UI? Back to normal. Okay, and now when I go into configuration and store config, and OK, next time I go into initialize ZBrush and hit yes, voila, back to normal. Okay, so that is basically moving things around and getting back to defaults within ZBrush.